people deluded i hope you're all well and safe this morning yesterday arsenal's under 18s in their second game of the slovakia cup drew 2-2 with slovakia the home nation you'd assume and this is why i like tournaments like this these players can learn a lot obviously some of them you look at Bali mumba and a couple of others they're they're in an, i wouldn't say their first team but they've been given opportunities and they've all this age group got some good players and i think they're all going to have solid careers but Games like this, sometimes at academy level, at least if you're the Derby and Arsenal players, at least at under 18s, you don't necessarily learn this these sort of things when you're dominating games. Um, prob we learn a lot of lessons in this game. Against Russia, we we probably learned that when we go a goal up, we should probably try and score some more. And we probably learned how to switch on, why we should switch on defensively. Because in the first half, and the goal that they scored was a banger, but... We could have done better and we could have had three points and this is what these players need to learn how to have more of a cerebral approach if they're going to kick on to england's full international team or some of these lads are at derby arsenal spurs chelsea you name the rest of them they're at big clubs apologies people they're at top clubs so they're going to have to cut the mustard i felt completely opposite from the game against russia i think this game started off strongly i was i wouldn't say i was surprised because i know slovakia have ballers but I was surprised in their approach, their tenacity. I don't think they, they didn't care. They learned from Russia's mistakes. They didn't care that it was England. They didn't give a crap about England. They were on the front foot. They played some lovely triangles. People were always, always available on the half turn. And and we had to match that. I think we started off strongly. It was a good game for the neutrals, people. Um, like I said, man, we had to defend very early on. First five, we probably had to weather the storm. But after that, we started to dominate. When we scored our first goal, it was a good goal. I think we were doing a lot from the right-hand side and the left-hand side, but we was troubling a lot. Um, I think it's Morgan Whitaker. He links up. Who did he link up well with? He linked up well with someone, man. Who did he link up well with? Um, he linked up with someone, man. He linked up with someone. Morgan linked up with someone. There was an effort. Keeper was equal to it. Or there was an effort or two. Keeper was equal to it. Um, um, Mola, who's playing at left-back, forgive me, um, Chelsea winger, he, he scores the rebound and he makes it look easier than it actually is. It's a good finish into the far corner, man. He strikes it true and hard, sort of, I wouldn't say an Ozil finish, but that sort of theoretical approach behind it. And we deserve the goal. It's 1-0. We just need to build upon this. I won't lie, I think Slovakia, even at a goal down, responded superbly and they deserved their goal. We gave the ball away in our in, in, in their half. Um, number 21, I don't know his name, but I'm going to do some research. He picks it up, people, and he drives from his own half into our um into our box edge of the edge of the semicircle he smashes it on past the keeper it's a good goal people it was to be fair it's a special goal like the, on one hand you have to hold your hands up card them sort of goals there don't happen out of the blue and credit to him boy because it was a lovely goal to watch man he but like someone said on twitter he parted us like the red sea really and truly um from a from an england point of view um, our midfielders probably could have been a bit closer to him and we were probably caught high up the field and there were gaps that they exploited um, before they, they actually scored as well not, I'm not picking any players out but Sibley for example the derby lad forgive me if I'm wrong and it was him he had two chances to score one literally before they scored so like I said it's a learning lesson psychologically he's probably thought about that what if I scored here and again I'm not blaming him or saying anything like that but this is what these young players have to learn taking chances building upon things holding leads um, and, and things like that it was, I must say, people, 1-1 one, one is probably deserved from both sides. It was a very enjoyable game in the first half for me. Second half started strongly. I feel Janil Bennett, out of everybody, looked to, to be the man on the mission for England. I mean, he was twisting people up inside, cutting outside. You lot know I've made a vid about him. He's a baller. And if Spurs can develop him, they've got a player for the future. I honestly believe he's got a big future, man. Close control, balance. He's he's proper on this man. He's looking like he's down for it. And I would say we were the strongest side in the second half early on. But we're hit on a sucker punch down the right hand side, their left against the run of play. Ball comes into the box. So finds a Slovakia man. Like I said, against the run of play, they pull it in the back of the net. It's two one, and it is a kick in the teeth. But again, this is what these players have to learn from, and they have to pick themselves up. We deserve to make it to, to Janelle Bennett, the man I said looked inspired and looked to be the difference maker prior to going a goal down or going down 2-1. Um, he scores. It's, it all originates from a quick throw in, um, to be honest with you, down the left-hand side. Ben Cotterill and Janelle Bennett link up superbly together. Um, Tulokov, West Brom was involved as well. 
Bennett smashes home, man. And it's a good goal. It's good quick thinking from us to get that goal out of nothing, in my opinion. And it's good confidence from Bennett, um, Bennett to take it on and, and have the effort, man. 2-2, two, two, we deserved it, man. I felt Tulloch had a decent game as well. I think he was quite selfless and got in pockets. Morgan Whitaker was number 11. Again, the stream wasn't the best, but I'm sure he looked decent. Mola looked decent in, in a left-back role. Barley Mumba looked decent. There was a whole host of changes. Big up Ben Cotterill and his appearance. Um, don't know if he technically gets an assist, but I'm sure it was for Janil's goal. Bennett the pick. And it's a good it's a good bunch of players, man. Like I said, this game was a complete different from um from Russia because you saw Kwanku rotated out along with John Jules. Cotterill came in and a couple of other changes, man. So there's a good depth in the side. Um, and it's a good test for these boys. Like I said, man, they've got I assume you get three points, so they've got four points from the first two games. I'm actually not sure if they play again today on Wednesday or if they take a little break. You'd imagine there'd be a break because two games in two days is a lot on the squad. But I don't know. Either way, if it is, I'm going to be here to review the next game. But in regards to our 2-2 draw against Slovakia, that's all I've got to say, people. So I'm going to get out of here. People deluded. Stay safe and everything's there. I'm out.